Hey, it's Bob Harris here, and this is lesson number three of how to play a C chord on the guitar. And if you haven't seen lessons number one and two, go right down here. There's a link that I put right inside of this YouTube video to go to lessons number one and two. If you're ready for lesson number three, here we go. Okay, and lesson number two is a quick review. We were playing um, the C chord, um, this C chord right here with just um, using four strings, starting at my fourth string and, and strumming down, okay? Now what happened is, is that when we did this, when we still wanted a C chord and we started it on the fifth string, we were actually getting another chord. We were getting an A minor seventh chord. So what we want to do to, to do utilize as much of the guitar as possible, as many of the strings as possible, to get a nice full sound, we want to be able to strum with as many strings as possible, okay? Now, first thing that I want you to do is just with your ring finger, I want you to go one, two, three frets up, okay, on the fifth string. And just we're just gonna pluck the fifth string, just just like like so. Okay? I hope you have your guitar, you should be doing this with me. So you can see that on the left hand my my uh, finger is nice and arched here okay it's got a nice arch it's not flat it's it's arched okay that's really important so what we're going to do is that's the note that we're, that's missing out of the full c chord okay so what we're going to do is now my my guitar students um, i'd say about 60% of them respond to the way that I'm going to show you how to do this and then I'm going to show you another way to do it and and either way is fine it's whatever is comfortable for you but 60 percent of my guitar students prefer when I show them this chord first and then add this finger okay okay so what we're doing is forming this A minor seventh chord you know because we're hitting this, hitting this, or playing this fifth string here. And then we're stretching that finger over three frets up on the fifth string, and we're playing that chord. You see how nice and arched my fingers are? They're nice and arched. Everything's clearing. I'm not, I'm not touching any of the strings other than the ones that I'm pressing on. Okay. This is by far and away the hardest regular chord for, for beginners to play, just because there's such a big stretch here between here and here, okay? This finger has to stretch out, and it's kind of hard. So if you like starting by forming this chord and then putting this here for right now, okay, that's um, probably the number one way, the easiest way to do it, okay? Now the other way we can do it is we can start it from the other direction, okay? We can start by going three frets up on the fifth string with our ring finger, and then we can go two frets up with our middle finger and just those two notes and play these two right here. Strum all the way through. And then what we can do is we can take this finger and press it down on the first fret of the second string. Now if you get lazy and you don't arch, when you you might get that sound happening, okay? You want the tip, you see the tip of this finger here. The tip needs to, you know, you have to be right on the tip of your finger like I showed you in lesson one, okay? Really key. Okay, so what you'd do is you'd play these two first and then you'd go and play this one. Now ideally, you just want to be able to go and play a C chord, okay? But for right now, um, I want you to make sort of a mental, try, try it at least, Try to either get the C chord to work by playing this first and then play that note. And 
and that seems to be the way that my st most of my re my students respond. I'd say about sixty percent, maybe sixty five, seventy, and then for the other, you know, the rest of them, some some other students respond better by playing these two notes first, and then putting this finger on. Now, this actually right here is a chord. It's a, it's a real chord called C major 7th. So a nice exercise to do is to play this chord and then... And then the other exercise that you, uh, I would like you to do would be the A, a minor 7th chord. Now we're strumming always from the fifth string. Now the sixth string right here is not a good note. It doesn't help the help the sound of the C chord because I'll play that for you. Okay, if we started from the sixth string, okay, we want it to sound like this from the fifth string. Okay, so two exercises that I'd like you to do is from here, stretch it out, and then from here, see how curled, if you could see this index finger, how curled it is. It's curled, okay? It's not like this, it's like this. And that's the way that I'm able to get that chord to, to form properly, okay? this. Okay, so practice that and um, after this video I'm going to um, tell you about the full course that I have here and we're doing the same type of lessons with all of the chords and then a lot of other shortcuts that uh, are really important that you should know in order to play the guitar good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, comments are most welcome. I, I love uh, speaking with the students and people taking the guitar lessons here. And uh, I will see you in the next video.